The brutal attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband in the couple's San Francisco home is alarming. The motive behind the attack, unsettling. Political science professor Melissa Michelson is with Menlo College. The temperature of the country is really high right now, and unfortunately some people are lashing out against folks like um, the speaker's husband. On this Saturday at John's Grill in San Francisco, we caught up with several local leaders. I've received death threats. San Francisco City Attorney David Chu says he and his colleagues have received a number of death threats. Most elected officials have experienced certainly threats, certainly violent threats, and uh, unfortunately these days it's par for the course, and it has accelerated dramatically in the last few years after Donald Trump came in office. Chu and others say there needs to be full accountability. Former Mayor Willie Brown says it starts at the top. Trump should have been the first Republican condemning this violence if we are to be effective at stopping crazy people that are his supporters. He hasn't said a word. So the tone and tenor of politics in our country has escalated into violence. And we saw it on January 6th. We've seen it since. Um, I know that our police department, our police commission, our mayor, our board of supervisors are all looking at how we uh, respond proactively to make sure we keep our community safe. With Election Day just around the corner and with this disturbing attack on the minds of many. And that'll remind them of the violence of January 6th. And I think it's going to fire people up on the Democratic side of the aisle to come out and vote because that's what they are seeing happens um, when the other side wins. And so I actually think this will energize Democratic voters to, to stand up against this kind of violence. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.